Good morning, Lincoln Lions. Today is Tuesday, December 15th. Happy Tuesday. I wanted to start off today by reading some more of our students of the month from November who really modeled the character trait of gratefulness. So here we go. Fourth grade in Professor Trevathan's classroom, Lily Lowry. Lily is always thankful and appreciative of the time we spend together learning. She graciously displays thankfulness anytime I give her extra help and when her peers help her in class. She is polite, kind, and respectful. I am grateful to have Lily as a 4T squad regular. Thank you, Lily, for being so gracious and showing gratefulness every day. The next one is also coming from Professor Trevathan's class. Jasmine Kwong is a gracious student with a heart of gold. She is kind, respectful, and always grateful and appreciative. Jasmine is encouraging to her peers and always thankful for my extra time we spend together learning. I'm grateful to have Jasmine as a 4T squad regular. So thank you, Jasmine, for not only being a regular, showing up for your classes, but being grateful and appreciative. That's so important. All right, going to fifth grade. Um, the first one coming from Mr. OK Carr's class, Jakaya Brown embodies gratitude. She lets her friends know how thankful she is to have them in her life. That is huge and so important. I think one of the best things that you can do is tell people in your life that you're thankful for them. All right. The next one coming also from Mr. OK Carr's class is Kimberly Garcia Quiros embodies gratitude. She is always positive, kind, and appreciative of her friends and family. Thank you, Kimberly, for being so appreciative. You guys, what you are doing goes a lot with what we're going to talk about as Mr. Brown's precept today. So it's perfect. All right. Also coming from fifth grade, our last two um, students of the month for the month of November. These are the students, again, who really showed gratitude. And Mrs. A and I will be coming around with a special treat and certificate for you and take your picture and put you up on the wall of fame here at Lincoln. Here we go. So coming from Mrs. Croson's class, Jackie Chen. Jackie, because although he is quiet in class and doesn't speak a lot on screen, he does participate and steps up to be brave when I call out for answers. He's always willing to answer questions on the chat line, and that really helps our classroom conversations flow. He is also really witty, and his responses make me laugh and infuse the class with joy. He is also a super hard worker and gives outstanding effort on all that he does. I am just overall thankful that I get to have him in our class. He is awesome. Jackie will do great things in his life. His sharp brain and wit will help him to be great at whatever he chooses to do. So thank you for showing gratitude to your class in all of those amazing ways. And the last one comes from Mrs. Croson's class, Jillian Powers. Jillian has blended into our class in a new school so well. She's worked really hard to persevere when, when technical challenges have occurred, and that has happened a lot. Oh, Jillian, thank you. She also gives her best effort on everything she does. The care and quality of her work is outstanding. The fun thing that Jillian has often done throughout the year is that she often has really creative and fun ideas for things to offer to the class and make our learning more fun. She shares great ideas with me all the time, and that has challenged me to continue to be mindful of how we can make our learning more exciting. I think she might be a teacher herself someday. Wow, Jillian, thank you for being so grateful and showing gratitude in all of those amazing ways. I can't wait to come around and see everybody when we bring you a certificate and a treat to celebrate your amazing character. Thank you. Okay.
Uh, side note, I don't know if you noticed my shirt today, but check it out. Buddy the Elf is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Side note, favorite movie of all time is Elf. And today, Miss Kim, Miss Shannon, and I are matching in our Buddy the Elf shirts. Miss Kim got them for us. Wasn't that so kind? I am super grateful for Miss Kim and how she knows how much I love Buddy the Elf. And she got us matching shirts and my super fun little elf ears. <laughs> side, side, side note there. All right, let's look for birthdays today. No birthdays today. We have some tomorrow. All right, let's look at lunch. Lunch for today. Uh, we have chicken strips or a deli sandwich, and it's tater day. So don't forget, even though we don't have school here, you can still come and get lunch, chicken strips, or a deli sandwich, and it's tater day. All right, couple of reminders. Don't forget we're still doing our canned food drive. And so if you want to donate food, the bin is out there when it's time for lunch pickups. Um, you can come get your lunches from 1130 to 1230. And again, our GP Express Lights Parade is happening on Thursday evening from 5 to 7. We are so excited and really excited to let you know that the Dutch Bros all here in Josephine County will be giving free hot chocolate to any student from 4 p.m. until close on Thursday night. So you can go through and get a hot chocolate and come and enjoy the lights. So pretty exciting. All you have to do is have your parents say, yep, my student goes to one of the Grands Pass schools. So that's all you gotta do. And you get a hot chocolate with your lights. All right, so Mr. Brown's precept, which again connected a lot with, let me look and see, hmm, ah, Jakiah Brown's, right? How she is always letting her friends know that she's thankful and grateful for them. It really made me think about Mr. Brown's precept for today, which is accept what you have and treat it well. And it made me think about being thankful and grateful for what you have and to take good care of that. So I thought that maybe today you could think of three things that you're thankful and grateful for in your life and take it a step further and either write a note or send a message to the people that you're thankful and grateful for in your life. So for me, I know I am super thankful and grateful for my dad because my daughter is doing distance learning as well. And it's her first year in middle school. So lots of challenges there. But he helps her get on and get logged on every day and also takes her to school because she gets to go for some limited in person. So that is something I'm super thankful and grateful for. I'm also thankful and grateful for all of our teachers that are here and all of our staff because they make Lincoln an amazing place to be. And I'm excited to come to work every day. I do miss seeing you all though. And I'm also super thankful and grateful for our PTA who is helping organize the lights parade and going to be helping to set that up and make that a really fun and exciting event. So take a minute today and let people know that you're thankful for and grateful for just like Jakaya does and just like Mr. Brown's precept says. All right, let's take a minute and we'll go ahead and do our flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I hope you all have a great day of learning. One more announcement. I'm going to be sending out a really exciting video that Mrs. Peterson made for letting you know all about library checkout. So we have something exciting. I had to get my notepad where I wrote down my handy dandy notes. 
um, Mrs. Peterson is going to have her own book checkout window now. And so it'll be right in the front of the school. You'll go past Miss Shannon's window. You'll go past my windows and you'll then hit Mrs. Peterson's library book checkout station. And so that will um, be every Tuesday and Thursday from 1130 to 1230. And then also Wednesdays from 11 to 1 and 330 to 530. And the way it works is you can just drive on up, hop out of your car, come up to the window, and you can either pick up books that you've put on hold. And remember, you can even just email Mrs. Peterson and let her know if there's a book you're looking for or there's something new and exciting and it's called a surprise bag. And so Mrs. Peterson is putting together book bags that are um, based on a grade level and a theme. And you can come to the window and just say, I'd like a surprise bag and I'm in third grade. And she'll give you a surprise bag of books to check out, pretty exciting. So then you can just hop right around, drive back through and you can get a lunch while you're at it, win-win. So um, if you have any questions, let us know, but we're super excited to have our book checkout um, window starting here now. And I'll have a video that's coming out that I'll share a link to where you can see exactly how to do it. Have a great day of learning, everybody.